Welcome back to Poker National Geographic. My name is Michael Michelson Morgan, and I can't wait to bring you back to the investigation of all the lively creatures in our world. Within the Hoenn region lies the small canyon desert of Route 111. This land is home to some of the hottest and driest landmarks on our planet and is frequently unenterable due to its intense sandstorms. This desert holds many secrets of science and history hidden under miles of sedimentary rock, as well as many oddities milling about its surface. Baltoy, the clay doll Pokemon. Being a ground and psychic type, Baltoy moves while spinning around on its single foot like a top. Some Baltoy have even been seen spinning on their heads. Primitive wall paintings depicting this Pokemon living among people were discovered in some ancient ruins in this very desert, confirming Baltoy's deep history with people and culture. As soon as it spots others of its kind, Baltoy congregates with them and then may begin crying noisily in unison. Despite its history with humans, it greatly prefers the company of other Baltoy or even its evolved form, Clay Doll, looking to its stronger congregates as a sort of tribal leader. The scenic oceans of Alola. Here is where water types of all forms come together in their magnificence. However, one Pokémon of this world is so empty-headed and useless that many akin its nature closer to a plant than any grass-type Pokémon out there. I am, of course, talking about the inexcusable waste of a water-type, Magikarp, the fish Pokémon, an underpowered, pathetic Pokémon. It may jump high on rare occasions, but never more than seven feet. It is known as virtually worthless and one of the most weak and pathetic Pokémon in the world. In terms of both power and speed, it is famous for being very unreliable. In the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. The Tag Tree Thicket at Night During the day, this forest within the Paldea region is teeming with life. However, as the natural world begins to slumber, we start to see the emergence of Pokémon that we would have never noticed otherwise. The most apt example would be that of the disguised Pokémon, Mimikyu. A ghost and fairy type, this Pokémon lives in dark places untouched by sunlight. When it appears before humans, it hides itself under a cloth that resembles a Pikachu. Its actual appearance is unknown. A scholar who saw what was under its rag was overwhelmed by terror and died from the shock. However, it would be wrong to perceive this Pokémon as hostile. Mimikyu is frequently a lonely Pokémon, and it conceals its terrifying appearance beneath an old rag. It does this so it can get closer to other people and Pokémon in hopes of befriending them. Many young trainers in the modern day feel that Mimikyu's urge for companionship is similar to that of a person, though others call its use of a disguise to be, quote, fake AF. The most fascinating thing about Mimikyu and its disguise is how it is used as a defense mechanism. If Mimikyu is attacked, the rag can act as a decoy, but this will commonly destroy the rag in the process. If the Mimikyu's neck is broken, it will try to fix its broken disguise as if its life depended on it. It can make you wonder if the real Pokémon is the one hidden away or the one Mimikyu wants us to see. Those are all the Pokémon we have for today. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Poké National Geographic. I've been Michael Michelson Morgan. And always remember, the wonderful world of Pokémon is always what you make of it.